Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, uh, Rad here from Radwood Sarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, uh, Aries Moon and as well Aries Rising uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 28th to February 3rd 2018 uh, and 19th excuse me so uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again guys I want to uh, remind you that that will be a, a general reading for uh, every star sign and for that reason uh, this general reading is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Aries basically so for that reason uh, in this video I will try here my best to explain you the meanings uh, of the cards and uh, also their uh, synergy in the spread but uh, at the end it kind of falls to you to align this reading uh, to your personal situation uh, for best accuracy just like I'm doing for the examples uh, in this video now if you want me to uh, interpret your situation or to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards just like I'm doing for the examples in this video that will be a, a subject for a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so these are the four general cards for the week and that is going to be as well on an enhanced tsar spread and um, basically we're going to draw additional card uh, per position but just from the looks of those cards oh my that is going to be a, a rough week and it's going to be a rough week because basically someone wants something that you are chasing so we do have a competition just to give you an example of that all right it could be that this is going to be a lucrative offer uh, from somebody you know and you have to compete for it to compete to have the privilege to um, to basically involve yourself into that offer and at the end, the end make a, a great gains because this is what is in stake here guys a great gains and that is displayed with the uh, ace of pentacles falling into the core position which points what is this all about and this is all about a, a treasure it is all about a, a wealth and wealth can be can be defined in different ways you know wealth could be as well happiness wealth could be love wealth could be uh, health either or it could be money you know it does depend what is important for you and uh, this week you will have to compete for it and for what it seems the competition is quite severe it is because that competition wants what you're after wants what you want to achieve it, it wants it basically it wants something that you have and it wants it badly right so this is going to be a, a fearsome competition further supported by the hangman falling into a, a challenging position so uh, let's indulge deeper into the cards position by position just to see you know uh, more accurately how this is going to unfold so with the five of wands which is the general topic of uh, the week we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So this competition will be most likely addressed by a, a male, a man, that it is a um, around your age or a little bit younger. I'm saying most likely. It's not excluded to be a woman as well, but if it is a woman, it has more a masculine approach toward the situation it's more aggressive you know it's it's more open as well I mean it's not kind of acting behind the curtains and etc etc but what is the undoing of this person is that they are very slow they are very meticulous they are very calculative and therefore with the swift action you can easily overcome uh, this competition that it is addressed by that person here with the Knights of Pentacles however at uh, the five Five of Wands as a general topic, it does point that throughout this week as well, you will have to uh, readapt your strategies. It basically, this is the general, as I said, topic. You will have to deal with this competition by readopting uh, your strategies. And uh, how this could happen, we're going to talk about it as the hangman, because this is a, a very important 
aspect and a fulcrum in this reading as the hangman falls but it is as well important with a, the five of, of, of with the five of wands to be open for surprises so while you are competing right um many things are going to be uncertain i mean everything will have the opportunity to become a uh, around turn so something that it seems lost something that it seems uh, unreachable anymore uh, it could easily turn out itself to be uh, a, a lucrative opportunity or a uh, you know in general a, a happy enterprise just to give you an example of that let's say that you and somebody are competing for the same suitor and it does look like that today this suitor it's uh it's almost decided in a favor of your competitor but something happens in the evening and when you wake up at the other day you know you will have the upper hand this time around so basically what they, these cards are pointing is that you should not give up no matter what the current situation is because the five of wands is very unstable card it's high amounts of energy but yet very very unstable energy and um, <clears throat> you should not judge the um, the day by its morning if i may say uh if i may say it that way and uh, as we mentioned here it's it's all about uh, it's all about wealth so actually you and that person are chasing a, a very potent and lucrative uh, goal with the three of pentacles here also this is going to be a, a long-term benefit so if it is about project for example this project or this contract for example will truly give you work for years to come or at least for half a year to come so it's something very very valuable that you're gonna uh, compete over and again that that may not be only money for majority of you is going to be money and a lucrative offer but again you know it could be also a about harmony into one relationship the thing with the tree of pentacles here is, is that you should be a uh, uh, kind of like um falling into combination with the ace of pentacles you should truly seek aid and alliances this is how you can overcome even more easily uh, that particular competition and the knights of pentacles this is more like a solo player so you will truly have the upper hand if you ha if you kind of can attract um, people as your allies so uh, don't be shy to bring your friends into the matter if your friends can uh, <clears throat> can help you with something don't don't be shy or don't be afraid you know to try to make a deal with someone who can actually help you in this uh, in this venture in this um undertaking as well but uh the core of the situation uh here points that it's going to be as i said much more easier with a teamwork and um and as well uh it will be over a um a goal that will give you a long-term prospect and long-term thing that you have to look forward to and that could be as well a competition over a job place over a promotion you know as i said over a common suite or either and etc etc <clears throat> so definitely you have much to gain from it guys it is just it will depend on your tenacity and of how much support you can attract at your plate so you can actually counter counter force uh, this competition that stands here by the way these cards are active neutral so this person does not cope very well with the competition itself but yet they are attracted by the results of it so if they overcome you um, <clears throat> they will get those great gains all right but uh, and they may seem very confident that that they know what they are doing all right but in reality they are just as lost as you uh, as you may be all right and that is as i said because of the insecurity of the uh, the situation itself and it, it can play out in any way it's so just do not be biased about what could happen tomorrow because you don't know that or you don't know what could happen tomorrow and be and always be ready throughout this week to actually catch and seize a uh, <clears throat> an opportunity of uh, turnarounds and happy surprises the next card that it is the challenges which you need to overcome here we do have the hangman 
with the nine of wands and these are passive enemies so what these cards are pointing well before I drew the nine of wands actually in most of the cards that could have fall in this position would have suggested that you should make a, a calculative withdrawal until you re, uh, re adopt your strategy but what these cards are pointing is that it is possible for you to do it on fly on go but as you are coping with the competition you can um, you can actually make moves to surprise that very competition however this is going to be challenging and what is going to be required is some unstandard points of view so something that people don't see coming something that is completely out of your character as a move of you to do so you can basically catch your competition off guard and uh, leave them let's say two blocks behind you in the chase of this uh, of these great goals of, of, of that great goal that gives you great gains uh, additionally these cards here are pointing that you are going to be very well aware uh, what kind of efforts of yours are going to be futile right and yet this is because something that you are very used to you may do them anyway so also it's important here to make some personal self restrictions uh, of yourself basically constraining uh, cons or excuse me of constraining yourself do things which your mind is telling you that are to be futile and yet your inner self or rather like your emotions are pushing you to do uh, just to give you an example which could be a little bit out of character here all right uh, or excuse me it's not going to be out of character so uh, let's say that this uh, competition here actually asks you to negotiate and even though you know that uh, these negotiations are going to be um, futile all right something within yourself because you are a nice person or because you really like to negotiate you know pushes you to do so so it's very important to follow here your logic because emotions are what feeds the hangman emotions are what makes you being stuck and makes you experiencing delay and emotions are best fought with thoughts with mental efforts all right even though we don't have mental efforts here but more like a, a passion you have to orientate yourself more toward actions rather than toward a talks especially uh, toward your competition i mean toward the negative aspect of the week however with those who can uh, truly aid you in your journey here uh, you will have to be subtle with your um with your communication and actually make those a uh, um, fruitful conversations with them so you can actually reach a an a, um, agreement with them <clears throat> So uh, these uh, these couple of cards, as I said, are pointing that it is not impossible for you to adapt yourself on fly and on go. But yet, if you are feeling that way too challenging, all right, uh, it will be also best if you take some time to think of your new uh, of your new approach and of your new strategy. You don't have to you don't have to rush yourself. You don't have to be frantic. Because uh, by the judge of these couple of cards, this goal is yet very far in the future, right? And the, this chase of that goal, it's, it's just have been started. And you will not going to have it over one night. But it is important to place the right foundation. And those foundations should be uh, in such way placed so you show that no one actually can take away what you are after from you and finally we do have the world card here with uh, the six of pentacles card and uh, what these uh, that is the guidance position and the guidance position it does point that that is something that belongs to you well, i have no doubts doubt now as the six of pentacles fell here it is that something this thing it is what belongs to you because the six of pentacles additionally supports the natural flow of events the hierarchy all right and these uh this of subject of great gains it is something that you have worked for 
and uh, now someone is trying to steal it from you and therefore the guidance here is not to give up and not to give away what naturally belongs to you but aim to finalize uh, or to reach a completion in this undertaking here in this uh, in this venture and after that a, a new perspective as well is going to emerge for you soon as a matter of fact with these couple of cards uh, we do have a, a liber liberation that awaits you after you finalize this uh, this venture of yours and uh, another example came into my mind here uh, that for example if you are going through a, a divorce that could be the competition of the other side of the divorce suddenly being uh, being provoked all right but as you um, as you win more allies at your behalf like additional uh, witnesses and etc etc or maybe additional lawyers uh, that will give you the upper hand knowing that the uh, negotiations with the other hand with the other side of the lawsuit are going to be extremely uh, are going to be kind of futile and also you want to make a closure as fast as possible your emotional state may uh, provoke you to do so to make a negotiations but naturally this um, this divorce lawsuit is given to be in your favor so it will be best here if you just go with the flow rather than to go away uh, or kind of like not go with the flow but follow your original plan even if that original plan asks you to get to go um out of your character it is what what i was saying before but definitely here aries is a um if you find something difficult and that you are seeing or facing an opposition in a certain path that you have chose to walk and to embark that is definitely your path and it is definitely the place where you're gonna make as i said great gains so uh that being said this was the tarot reading and now i'm going to shuffle the lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or um try to avoid if you have the means though Usually when a when the Norman card shows something it is uh, almost impossible to avoid it. So uh, the first one that is going to be the lady and the lady stands for woman. The next one this is going to be the sun and the sun stands for great amounts of success also stands for great amounts of luck and in general it is a very very positive card. And the next one this is going to be uh, the man. So these cards refer to that tree of pentacles and it does point that throughout this week you are going to meet someone that will be a, an extremely valuable ally in this journey of competition that at the end away great gains are awaiting you and that person if you are the woman then he is going to then that is going to be he if you are a male then this is going to be she and that person is truly going to help you to reach your success it is basically they will grant you your success so it's going is going to be advisable here uh, to really listen what they have to say and uh, try to cut a deal with them if they have a certain conditions in order to uh, lend you a helping hand so that being said Aries is uh, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for January 28th to February 3rd 2018 uh, 19th excuse me and uh, yeah again that was a, a general reading for Aries the star sign and therefore this reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Aries as your situations guys are different if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards just like I did for the examples in this video well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now, see you next time, bye!